hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in the last couple of videos we were discussing about aws automation with python boto 3 and lambda functions okay we have completed part 5 so this is just a continuation of your part 5 as it was getting a little bit on the longer side so i am making a separate video for this one okay so there we had discussed about you know listing all your iam users using your client uh, object right so we'll continue the same thing here also but that example was example one which was about a listing iam users in aws account now let us go through the second example which is to list all your running ec2 instances in your aws account only for a particular uh, you know region not all region only for us east one okay so to understand this one you need uh, boto3 documentation i hope you had gone through the previous video if you have not gone through the previous video you will not understand how to navigate through your boto3 documentation so i would highly recommend you to go watch that video learn how to list all the iam users in aws account and then come back here okay so no hurries right so we'll we'll learn slowly no problem okay so this example is listing all the running ec2 instances in your aws account Okay, so let us go over the VS code and start building this. Okay, so first things first, let me open up a new my project folder. Inside that, I'll open a new folder that I've created. I mean, the new file uh, that I've created. Okay, so let us start building this one. First things first, we'll follow the same process. If you have my, watched my previous video, it is very easy for you to do this also. Okay, so let us follow the process. First things first, we need to import all the modules and libraries. Okay, so we are working with Boto3. We need to import that. So let me import it first. Import, sorry for the typo, man. Import Boto, Boto3. Okay, so now I've imported my Boto3 module. Okay, next thing, I need to open up my AWS console, AWS management console. Okay, so let me type in AWS underscore management underscore console is equal to okay so we are opening a boto3 session so just type in boto3 dot session dot session i have explained everything in the previous video this is just a continuation of that so you might be knowing how to open a aws management console already okay so i'll just uh, give a profile name here so i'll just say profile underscore name is equal to what is the profile name we, we need to give a profile name so our uh, profile is default profile and this i have for, for this profile i've added us east one okay so even if you do not mention region name here by default it, it is going to select your us east one region so before if you remember while configuring our aws so aws configure we provided uh, this profile with the user uh, access key and secret access key and we also provided us east one as our default region right so that is uh, that is already considered so if you want you can mention here or else that is also fine because you are working with it is understood that you are working with us east one region okay next thing is to open ec2 console okay it is really simple you already know how to open iam console same way let us open ec2 console let me type in ec2 underscore console is equal to so first, if I want to open up my uh, EC2 console, I need to get into management console. Let me copy this one and I'll just say dot, okay, client. And I need to provide a service name here. What is the service that we are using? We are using AWS, I mean, uh, AWS EC2. So I'll provide the same thing here. Service name, service underscore name is equal to uh, open up quotes and write, type in EC2 right so we are done so now we are inside our ec2 console now the actual thing is our intention is to list all the ec2 instances that are running in our uh, you know us east one region okay so basically we'll uh, list all the ec2 instance ids okay so for that we need to use a boto3 method right so if you know how to navigate to the boto3 documentation let us go to boto3 okay so let me open up and search for boto3 documentation so that is what i have here i'll open up here i'll just type in and search for ec2 
okay so this is ec2 okay here we have ec2 service we are working with client object so i'll select client so it will take some time to open up client let's give it a minute okay so here we have ec2 open and i need to get into my client okay i'll click on that so basically if you want to work with client object you need to import this one but we have already done that right so we are already inside our ec2 console that, that i feel that it, whatever they have mentioned in the documentation is a bit more confusing because client boto3 client so it is confusing but if you understand it this way it will be easy for you first open management console and inside management console navigate to ec2 console that's what we are doing okay next here we need to select the right method right so previously if you remember for listing all the users we had used list underscore users method so first let us see we have list users or not or list ec2 instances or not i'll just go to uh, yes okay i didn't find any l here okay so i have only list images in recycle bin and list snapshot so that means uh, it is confirmed that i don't have a method with the name list list uh, ec2 instances then how can you get it so i told you before if you want to work with a particular module you will have to go through at least once you can go through these different modules that are available sorry different methods that are available so that you will have a clear understanding so i have been working with this boto3 since last two three years so i have a clear understanding on which method to select so if i want to list all the instances i'll directly go and say describe instances there should be a method with the name describe instances so let's see if it is there okay so you will be an expert uh, if you go through all these things once so it uh, that is uh, that will help you a lot if you see here we have a, a describe instance method here let me select that okay so if you see this is how you use it let me copy this quickly okay so we are going to use only describe instance from the ec2 okay so what i'll do is i'll just say uh, ec2 from ec2 console i'll just say describe instances okay so basically this is going to describe all the instances that are present in our ec2 console okay so it is not a good thing so that uh, uh, you know if you just use it directly it will not uh, you know it is not a good practice as a programming so what you need to do you need to store this result what you are getting into a variable so let us store that in a result variable so if you remember in the last class also we did the same thing okay so i'm storing the output of this one inside a variable called result okay i hope that is clear now so let us try to print this result so let us see what we are getting okay so i'll just say uh, print result and let me save this one so before let's see if we have any instances in us east one so us east one is there i have four instances so that are running okay so this is good okay so let's go back and let me run this script okay i'll just say run without debugging let's see if we have any error or something let me expand it a bit oh that's too many too many result right so if you see here we are getting the result in a dictionary format so just see the top first line itself you will be understanding right dictionary indicates it starts with a curly braces so if you still want a confirmation you can go back to the documentation again so we are using this method describe instances so this is the request syntax this is what we have used right so if you want how the response will look like you can just come down here there will be a response syntax also so if you see this is how the response will look uh, it is pretty huge response if you just want to go around so you can just go around and check what are the different things that you have here till all the way from here till here you have the response okay so let's confirm by ch just checking the first line if we are getting the res a result or not okay so if you see it start with the curly braces and re uh, reservations so let's go back and check see starting with the curly braces and reservations okay so this is the dictionary 
so i want to remove this dictionary so now what i'll do is i am uh, interested in getting my instance id so where can you find the instance id here so inside reservation inside reservation inside instances i have instance id right so in i need first i need to go into reservation i'll remove that dictionary after uh, removing that dictionary i will enter into a list and inside list uh, there are many multiple uh, dictionaries i want to only concentrate on instances and after getting into instances again it is a list and here i need to only get my instance id so it is basically chopping off which, whichever you do not need right so let's do that first let us you know chop off this reservation so by uh, adding that so let me copy reservation and i can just paste it here itself inside the results only i can paste it here so let's let me show you how to do that if you see now let me run save this script and see if you observe this one if you see here right now we have a dictionary with the reservation here so i've added that reservation here that key i've added here so next when i added this one and if i print the result what will happen this reservation will go off okay i'll only see response from here okay so let's try that out okay so let me save that and let me go and run that okay so let's go up and see verify if you see here this is what we have run and we here right now i'm inside my list so if you see this is a list and this list has got many uh, you know multiple dictionaries of different instances so now my intention is to get to here instances and inside instances i need to get my instance id so this is my actual aim so to do that if it is a list if i want to get a particular thing i want to use my for loop you already know that concept right so now let us go ahead and use our for loop to get what we want okay so let me remove this print statement i'll just say for each instance each underscore instance you can use any variable but i am using this one okay in each instance uh, okay so what what i'm doing is so i'm i've uh, you know i am getting over this list and i'm getting only the instance id i'm i'm just looping or iterating uh, all the things that are there here i just want the instance id so i'm iterating over the loop okay so I, i'm just going for each instance in result so there are multiple instances as you saw in the screen so aws console we had four instances so i want to get all the four instance ids so i'm using for loop here for each instance in result okay so let's uh, let's go over and select only instances right now okay so let's see what we have in instances okay so i'll just say print first i'll print each instance let's see what is there inside each instance let me copy and paste that let me save it and let me run it okay i'll just clear the screen so that it is visible to you i'll just click on run without debugging now what i'm doing is i'm iterating over the result i'm i'm getting the result here okay so let's see what is there okay so if you see here so this is my result okay now if you see it is a group and i want my instance id right so if i want to get to instance id i need to get inside instances first so if you see here if i want to get my instance id first i need to get inside this instances right so that is what we are intended to do for that to happen i need to again loop it over and get inside this instances okay so let's let's get in uh, into our vs code again okay so if you see right now so i have this print statement here okay so what i'll do is i'll just use one more for loop i'll just say for value you can use very any variable here for value in each instance okay so i am giving each instance and inside each instance i am getting inside instances here right i have already instances i'll just copy the same thing here and i'll paste it here and right now i just want the instance id so i'll just say print with the open bracket value and i'll just print instance id so i'll copy it here 
okay so I'll just copy this one and I'll paste it here let me save the script and let me run it okay let's go over and see what what the result is so basically I'm I'm removing all the unwanted things here so if you see I have got the response the instance IDs so if you just want to verify just see here we have we gotten four uh, instance IDs so again remember I am only uh, using East US East one so if you ask me I have mentioned I have not mentioned anywhere US East one why it is getting only US East one result the answer is really simple while configuring I I gave my default region as US East one so if you do not specify here it will by default go and consider your ES East one itself okay so these are my four instances 802 7 FD a5 af5 298 so let us verify one by one let me go back to my console see 802 is there okay let me see 802 is here 74 74d is there 74 yeah, 7fd is here right next is if f5 af5 is here okay 298 298 is here right so this is how you can list all your running EC2 instances in a particular region using your Boto3. So you might ask, so why are we only listing all the things, right? So I will tell you the reason. If you already know the concept of, uh, you know, Terraform or other infrastructure as a code tool, so you will not in, in real time, I'll tell you, you will not use Boto3 script to any create any infrastructure or create resources. So either you need, you will use Boto3 to automate something, right? So let's say you have 100 EC2 instances that are already running. So if you want to, you know, have an inventory file with the instance ID and their public IP addresses, if you want to go and do it in, in manually, it will take too much time, right? You will open an Excel sheet first, copy all your instance IDs and copy all your uh, public IPs. So that will be a big thing. So if you want to pass that over and if you want to use it, if you want to automate it, you will go with Boto3 scripting, right? So I have not seen people using this Boto3 script to create any resources directly, right? So they will uh, integrate with Lambda functions and uh, ask uh, like uh, basically they will trigger a Lambda function if so and so even happens you do so and so thing so they will do like that but direct creation of infrastructure is uh, they were not using in the real time situations okay they are going to use either your cloud formation or your terraform scripts okay so that's it for today's video if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i'll see you in the next one